Hi, I'm Dr. Yoshida. I'm the co-owner of Hudson Animal Hospital. Today we're going to talk about microchip. There are uh, several uh, common questions that client has about microchip, so my assistant Wendy is going to ask me those questions. What is microchipping? So, microchip is a grain-sized inert substance that looks like this, and this gets inserted under the skin um, to, and it, it does actually uh, has a certain number designated. This is actually the, um, the actual microchip apparatus. So as you can see, there's a, sm a small needle right there that has a microchip inside. And what we would do is we just inject this under uh, the skin of a dog or a cat and um, it's a permanent way of identifying the patient with um, the certain number. And that number is registered under uh, the owner's name, address, and uh, um, phone number. So in case the dog or cat gets lost, um, it, you know, and if, it, if it's recovered at the uh, animal hospital or shelter, Everybody, first of all, gets scanned uh, with this microchip reader. And then when we do that, like this, it shows up with this number that is linked to the client's information. So that's how we get into um, a contact with the client um, when we find a stray uh, animal. Um, so that's the microchip. Is microchipping safe? Yes, it is. Uh, it's very safe. There's um, a few, you know, however, complications. Of course, it is a needle that goes under the skin, so it might hurt a little bit, but a lot of the, uh, the patients actually handle that pretty well. Um, it's almost like a vaccine. It, it is a bigger needle, but um, a lot of the time, the, uh, the patients uh, do handle this very well. Um, but sometimes it can cause a little local discomfort. Um, sometimes it can cause like a little scar tissue forming around it, but otherwise uh, very safe. How is my dog's microchip implanted? Yeah, so how it is, as I briefly mentioned it, but this is what we use. This is a home again microchip. Um, so it looks like a, a basically a syringe and then we just basically insert this under the skin um, and how, that's how it is installed under the, the skin. How do I register my dog's microchip? So if you do the microchipping with us, uh, we actually register the number with your information ourselves. So um, you, know, you don't have to worry about anything. Um, if you do it elsewhere, or let's say if you adopt an animal from shelter, you just have to contact um, that company, whether if it's a home again or any other company, and then register your uh, information under that specific uh, number. How are microchips scanned? Yes, so scanning, usually the hospitals or shelter uh, own a, a scanner like this. And then, um, again, we would just basically press this part and then go over the patient, and then it gives you the number. In fact, I can just certainly demonstrate with uh, our little patient model, Naruto. So this is Naruto, and Naruto already has a microchip. Uh, so this is a scanner, and when I scan him like this, it would show us this number, which is registered to his owner. Can a microchip track my dog if he, she becomes lost? So that's a very good question. So it is not GPS. Um, so you cannot track your, uh, you know, dog or cat. Um, however, again, it is linked to the, uh, linked to the number. So um, if he does get lost, whoever the scanner is, you can certainly just um, recover, they can recover your information. That's how you get reunited with your baby. Yes, yeah, so we do recommend microchipping your pet since the microchip pets have 20 times higher uh, chance of being recovered and reunited with the, uh, their owners. 
and it comes with a minimal discomfort. Um, so yes, we do highly recommend that. Uh, if you have any other questions, please call us at 212-706-4088 or email us at hudsonahnyc at uh, yahoo.com. Thank you.